or a cannon, whichever one comes first. <laughs> <laughs> Look, cat, please start us before I start spamming listen like Navi. Oh no. All right, so you all managed to fulfill your contract with Saber's boss as he returned to the mainland and say adieu and got word with the Crystal Force that they had a surprise for you in a very big way. A giant mechanical dragon. Knowing that it's safer to have this thing fly during the night time when no one else can see it, with help with a helpful um, guidance from Bix, Nethrite took the wheel and you all start to soar into the air. Now here's a question guys, do you want to do this in the the inside of the dragon or by the map? The world map? Inside. Uh, by, by, the, by the map. You know, so we're all practically, you know, I'm just so we don't have to worry about moving around. I even all agree with that map. Map. Uh, so map. Have an, I'd say you have an overwhelming vote for map. So. Don't they start to map? All right. So that is where you are as of right now, as you are all headed towards Bass. If I recall, out of character, isn't it late in the night? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes. Well, we took several okay. hours of a nap, so... Just wanted to double check. Yeah. Uh... Yep. If you would see Cortana, she's like, pressing her face against the glass with windows in the front, because she's never been this high before. <laughs> well, Nephrite is a little nervous flying, but she's slowly and surely trying to get the hang of it. Only is in the kitchen. That's of course he is. No, it's not because he, he's it's, the floor is not balanced and he doesn't want to keep adjusting every 10 seconds, so he's just going to sit on the couch in the middle and uh, get back to his book. <laughs> and right. I guess I'll... Uh, Go ahead. No, that was my fault for being an idiot. Go right ahead. All I was gonna say is, uh, Polonier in the kitchen, you're not gonna find any fresh fruits or fresh meats. It's mostly pantry stuff. So, like, flour? Flour, yeah. um, some dry, dried crackers, um, um, some dried... Yeah. Some dried jerky, um, maybe some pasta. Is there a f like a refrigeration unit, like an ice box or something? No. At least, no. Uh. Yeah, that's the one right. thing I forgot to install in the in the Meg Dragon. Sorry. Yeah, we still need um, to work. Go ahead. Is there any dry fruit? Out of curiosity, is there any dried fruit in this world? Like... There fruit is... jerky is something that you can easily create, dude. I just wanted to ask. There is some, but it's... Like, not the hard cracker dried fruit, but like a little bit more like... Um, have you ever had dried apricots? 
No. It's that kind of texture. Are there so at least are there, are there fruits at least? In this world, yes, there are fruits. I mean, in the mech dragon. Charlie said there wasn't. So. Uh, mm. Yep. Don't really, don't really have much of anything to work with. And someone is very staticky. No uh, problem, you again. Give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nefa, you hear Vix going, Yeah, we still need to install something like a fridge if we're considering this for long travels. But we got an oven that's working, we got a bathroom that has uh, plumbing, and she flip over your your little plate, and your station has cup holders. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yes, I guess, because every place needs cup holders. I might as well get the kettle going. This must be the first... I get that this must be the first RV. Only large size. Flying RV. Hey! Listen! Thank you. Yep. Yep. So after about, um... Almost an hour of um, travel in the sky. You start to come down near a bus, and Dick says, "My girl, where do you want to park her?" Sound just sent BRB, so. Oh. So I'm gonna make the educated guess and say she'd probably want it parked immediately at the keep, and then turned into the tower to park it there. But that's just my guess. So. Well, we'll wait on her. Yeah. Oh. Okay, she's back. Yep, so you're coming in. Up to um, bus after an hour of flight. Where where would you like to park her? I would like to park her behind the keep to the best of my ability if there's room. Um, Arcanite uh, perks up and says, uh, don't think it's such a good idea to fly a giant mech dragon in a hugely populated city at the moment. Okay. So, where would you recommend? Uh, if it was me, somewhere just a little outside the city, like maybe near the mountains. <coughs> so that could that could work. I think there's actually more space by the mountains than there is by our keep. What about the shadow demons near the mountains? We've already established that no one can get in or out unless they have the signature of the forge. That and the fact that we're not going, like, under the mountain. Yes, yeah. and I... Sorry, you first, cat. sorry. Yeah, the idea is to park beside the mountains, not go in them. Okay. First I'd say we park as... Oh. You first, Elise? Elise says, I, I would recommend that we scout out several different locations to park, park this tower so that it's not always in the same location every time we come back making it a little bit harder for anyone else to easily locate. Maybe that's something we should discuss with the queen. Mm -hmm. But for now, I say we park it towards the south end of boss, mm -hmm. out of sight from Sally, it's really being able to see easily. Exactly. All right, so ping, to, ping on the map where you want this thing to park. Uh. 
So there's okay. actually more space here. So again, right there. Yeah, there's more space right there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm guessing as close as the sit to the city as we can get. So that way, it can just blend in with the actual structure. All right, so as you come down the the clouds and then we see the tiny city of Bas growing bigger and bigger, you manage to fly around the city, swoop down and park right near the mountains. So who think the so who thinks our little buddy already knew about this? Well, not knew about it, but saw us landing. With how, how late it is, with how late it is, possibly not. Just hope it doesn't cause too much of a ruckus. We um, have refugees that are probably awake already. They're probably panicking like giant dragons. You do um, hear a bit of, like, kind of tinks and clinks coming from outside. Uh, so, that's right. You want to go first, or do you want me to? Or do you want to send Fulnir uh, first to send out to the army? Uh, let me go. Well, me and Elise, so that we, we try to talk things down. All right. Just give me one moment so I can prepare. Okay. To the map! Someone is glitching out real bad. Again, these headphones are were used beforehand, so it was like, uh, I had a feeling they'd start going bad soon. Sorry. No, well, it's just equipment on my end. Excuse you. <clears throat> you okay? Yeah, just some uh, phlegm. Ooh, allergy uh, season for you? No. Just phlegm. Mm. Yeah, that's natural. Oh, we head out. Cat's just getting the map ready. Yeah. Okay. And I am taking off the character sheet for the mech dragon on my computer. Here at the bottom, you see a couple of soldiers banging and clanging against the, uh, the mechanical dragon. Oh, sweet. Gentlemen, gentlemen, would you mind not damaging the goods? This is a prototype. I don't know if it's going to explode yet. <laughs> It I say it as a joke. Yeah, joke. It shouldn't explode, right, Aerodot? Uh, nope, it shouldn't. That's not very convincing. Perry, come on. Come on, Perry, please. Uh. Some of the soldiers are taken back hearing a, a voice coming from the mech dragon. You even hear one of them spat out, 
What witchcraft is this? Oh my gosh. Must resist the okay. beam! So, uh, Elise will say, please stand back while we uh, make arrangements. And uh, he'll ask uh, the uh, Forge members, is like, do we need to be outside the device while it changes form, or can we be in it? You could be in it, but then you'll be stuck in here for 10 minutes. Let's let's all exit and make arrangements with at least the local guard. In other words, please disembark from my baby. Yep. So these will go to the exit, go outside. So we'll know. Who's to say these aren't Celius guards? Yeah, if you see all these guards, you know, stay at attention as the dragon lifts off his tail, but then become surprised when you see people pouring out of it. <laughs> I am not letting that go. For now, hey, this is your design, not ours. I just like, Armin's <laughs> gonna partially stay inside. Until he knows these aren't Celius guards. I'll admit. Just... Okay, how are you uh... partially staying inside? It means pretty much where the entrance is for the dragon. I'm standing at the entrance to the dragon. So if these are Celius guards, I can retreat back inside. He's startling. The problem is, Armin. <laughs> You would not be able to tell the difference except for their decorations, which, if we have Celia's spies as guards, we'll find that out when they attack us. Fair enough. I would like to actually extend trust until such time as it has proven to be to betrayed. We need to have good relationships with these people. They are one of the last bastions of hope in the land. I understand I understand your reluctance to extend the trust, but you're part of the group, so at least try. And please tell me at least I automatically recognize this as the one ally of bosses. That's yes, during, yeah, during Elijah's speech, she comes up and says, well spoken, and all of you instantly recognize her as Ingrid. Oh, okay, so thank goodness not Celius guards were dealing with that were banging on the outside. That is good to know. Hold there, wouldn't. Hold there, hasn't met Ingrid. Yeah, Hold there, hasn't met Ingrid, but yeah, for Osman, where do you think I was parking? <laughs> Well, who's to say? Let me put it this way, Def, right? Who's to say Celius went to attack from Boss's rear? Who do you think is dumb enough to actually do that? The king? Exactly. I'm not the king. I know where I'm parking. I know how to do a park job. I know I know the difference between Celius and Boss. Speaking of which, hey, Ingrid, sorry for the interruption, and sorry for the extremely startling wake up call. Oh no, the wake-up call was actually needed. I, I hate to see these guards actually asleep at their post. Good to see <laughs> that they're t taking initiative and warning people of a possible dragon attack. Oh, by the way, what the hell is this? The first of possibly many, a mech dragon of my own, of my own design. Custom made by the Crystal Forge and two of their iconic members, Peridot and Dix. Well, it's nice to meet you, and forgive me for asking this, but, um, does the Queen know about this? Not yet, but we were in intending to inform her. Oh, 
will the, talk uh, about a very powerful surprise. Yeah. Yeah, and you don't need to worry about it uh, standing out like a sore thumb during the day. It can disguise itself as a tower. Speaking of which, and Fright will grab on to the remote control and flip the button for it to transform. <laughs> I'm trying to make the transformer sound effect, I'm sorry. You, you beat me to it. Yep. This is almost like parking a natural car. Yeah, pretty much. You hear the beep beep, and you see <laughs> the the tower slowly transforms back. I need to work on this a little a little later. I totally forgot. There we go. Into a tower. And as it transforms, pretty much, you see, if you could see the guard's eyes, they have not blinked, and their jaws unhinged throughout the entire transformation. <laughs> I imagine that's probably going to affect everyone the same way. Yes. <laughs> I know that it is uh, rather late, so it would be understandable that we would need to see the queen in the morning. So uh, just make the arrangements for that. And, if you uh, could. If, yeah, if at all possible. Please. Yes, I, I will you know, do that. I would also like to... I would also like to speak to Trellis at his earliest convenience. Well, I'm sure he's fallen asleep too, so you can talk to him in the morning. Yep. In the meantime, I'm still wrapping my head around all of this. Keep his open. I'm sure your loved ones are eagerly waiting for you, maybe. Or asleep, so be careful. And you guards get back to work, and you folks, good night. Night, Ingrid. Night, Ingrid. Leaving. And again, guards, sorry. Well, if you want, well, for those of you that want to head to sleep, let's head to sleep. And I'm just going to start walking towards boss, towards the keep. Yep. Same. <laughs> you hear Biggs going, uh, uh, don't suppose you guys have any room for us to at your cave, would you? I was just about to ask if you want to stay the night. Well, since you're all for then. And onward. Yep. So we are going to make the big jump cut all the way to the keep. Yep. That'd be a good decision. Oh, wait. Am I muted? Okay. Nope. No, we can hear you. No, because I was muted earlier and I was like, wait, I. When I said something, I was muted. So it's like, okay. Yep, and even though it's late in the night, you guys walk into the keep and see pretty much all the lights still on. Wow, that's a surprise. Uh, Ali Ali Oxen free! Uh, as soon as you yell that, you see Kor running up with his sword drawn, going, Oh. Whoa! It's you. And what had happened that for you to have your sword drawn, may I ask? Uh, it's, uh, complicated. Short, Matt. Um, we've been victims in pranks. As of late. Frank! Oh, wow. I hope Frank war. Mm. 
Thanks, Frau oh. Wohl. Yeah. That's right. You see, your mom will come in and give and give you a great big hug, Nefroid. Oh, <laughs> how's my how's my little girl doing? No new scrapes or bruises, I hope. None, but we do have two additional mouths to feed, and two of them you may recognize. Oh, big! Fix and Perry are here. Peridot! Oh, it's good to see you all, you two again. It's great to see you too, Loss. <laughs> Same here. Now, what's this here about pranks? Yes. It started just a couple of days ago with little things like missing pottery pots, um, missing food. That we can live, but then we noticed stuff was missing from your lab upstairs. Um, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Uh, books, books with pages ripped apart. Um, what? Even some of our fine jewelry started to go missing. Uh, okay. Uh, no. Okay, so there are three possible subjects just running through my head right now. Who, pray tell, ticked off a fairy, a brownie, or a gosh darn pseudo dragon? We don't know. And the thing is, too, we had guards posted at the only door. So, there's no way they could have gone into the door. You forgot there's one other location, haven't you? And he looks directly at this guy. Oh, which guy? Core? Core, yeah. Core. You forgot there's a second way into our keep, didn't you? A second? I don't care. You said... And correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm misremembering. The way to the mountain was underneath our keep. No, it's not. Oh. You no, know, there are windows to the keep, yes, but the way to the mountain is not in the keep. It's outside okay. the keep. It's a couple of steps away. Okay, sorry. Never mind then, because I thought. So, never mind. Next thought. Have we thought, have we thought to check the chimneys? Or the windows? Well, I remember opening the window a cup about a day ago for to, you know, let some hot air of pie, but that's it. I don't suppose they came in that way. It's a possibility, and... Were there any tracks or clues left behind? This may make it a bit easier to try and narrow down what we're looking for. Or at least what would have caused this. So... He says, I will take a tour of the... of the keep. And he casts the invisibility. My boy, I might jump in on you with that too. Because I did not think of that. He will... Makes you to go through every room looking for invisible creatures. Hey. Elise, would you mind if I help you out? Uh, I, I won't. I won't be adverse to assistance. The more eyes we have I'm trying to look, the better chance we might find something. 
it possible for the rest of us to help? For now, I would say no. Let's just focus more on... Without, without, knowing, what, without, without knowing whether or not they're still here or if they are invisible, if we're dealing with pseudo-dragons, they can hide without invisibility, so they'll be harder to catch. Exactly. But if they are are pseudo-dragons, they would mostly be interested in sweets and fruits, meat, uh, trinkets, so the jewelry missing makes sense. A lot of the food missing. Yeah, with the food missing. That is, that is also the true with a lot of the Fae. They like they like trinkets as well as food, so it hasn't really been narrowed down. You want me to go through uh, the entire area, Cat, or you just assume that he's going through each area looking? Um... If you're going through each area um, with the Sea un- Invisible spell, um, I will flush it through you. You don't really find anything much value on the first floor. Um, however, okay. in the, as soon as you get up onto the second floor, you see this little um, ghostly like figure with an aura shade, shade of pink fly from the view of the stairs into a room. He says, uh, he'll uh, activate the earring and says, I believe I have detected something and he will follow that, follow that, per, uh, that lead for that room. And Nephrite will try to go and meet up with a leash to back up that lead. So you said second floor? Second floor, yes. And Iwin is also going as well in case in the minor possibility a fight breaks out, but better safe than sorry. As well. So which which room was it headed toward? Uh, just give me one moment because I'm also bringing up a lot of other people with me. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, well, she's bringing up everybody, and I got Zuri because I left Zuri down there. Yeah. Is Zuri under Avenger? No. Okay, you just got him. Yeah. Zuri was down on the first floor. Okay. All right. Um, Nephrite, if it was a fae, A, then why would it steal pages from your notebook? That is something I don't know, but we would need to find out what this creature is before we jump any further guns. Yep. And you see it going in here. Uh... No? Yep, that's my room. I'm going to cautiously head towards the room, the door. So, yeah, he'll, he'll lead the way because he's got the invisibility along with that, right? And he'll step in the room and look around. All right. Give and me one, will give me one moment while you're there, Alish, since you are the first one to go in. I need you to give me a wisdom save. Mm. 
Um. Alright. Oh. I'm going to take a risk and flash the genius set, so making that 9 into a 14, it might help, I don't know. What happens? You hear giggling, but it feels like it's coming from all directions. Oh no! Oh, it might be Faye. However, you did manage to beat it, Alish. And you've... While you can hear all of it coming from all directions, you, fe you feel that the strongest direction of all is right here. Mm. On Laurel Highs. Oh no, I think that's Null's bed. Oh, nope. nope. Null's, on, Null's bed is on the left. Sorry. Right, so, so Alij will say, that was rather rude. Be so kind as to introduce yourself. Um, you look under the bed, and with your sea invisibility, you see four small feet. Four small feet. Pull up. I think I know exactly who this is. I'm not going to say who, though. Four small feet? Okay. Huh? Yep. And... You, you hear a young sigh as you see and from invisibility one of one one set of footprints coming up from under the bed and she goes that's just like you Alish. always taking the fun out of everything as she drops the invisibility Uh, and who is who is he, who is he looking at? I think I know who. Can I make the educated guess, cat? Shush, 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 shush. 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 You see your older sister, you free. Well, uh, I mean, in the past, this particular trick would have worked. That did get your attention, didn't it? So, uh, it is nice to see you, but why are you here in Oz? Just me, not the others. As you look I don't, I don't un know un under the bed, uh, the second set of footprints come out. And from under Null's bed, too. Huh? So how many are we dealing with total? Four. Oh, jeez. Uh... Four gnomes. Ah. Uh... Oh. Oh. A, a leech? This is a... Contacts? Do you know these people? These are my siblings. And he'll name and he'll name them. <laughs> I do not regret my joke. Nice one, Cactus. So, uh, why, why are you all the way out in the box? Well, what else would we be here to, than to see our younger brother? 
Besides, you don't call, you don't write. How else are we supposed to see if you were alright? Um, I do call mom and or dad when I have the chance, but I don't have the ability to do that all the time. So it's just mom and dad? You forgot about us? Don't forget about you. Just, you know, I have a limited number of, limited number of times that I can can cast that spell. And you know me, I don't have a lot of things to talk about that we find mutually interesting. Still, do you know how worried we were to fear that you died at Canaan? Only to know you were alive, but you don't talk to us about it? Do you know how much that hurts, big bro, little bro? <laughs> he kind of just stands there. It's not my intention to hurt you, but, you know. Big. Big things are happening in the world. I have a lot on my mind. I think this introduction would do best in the dining hall, actually, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, yes. Uh, do we have, we have an empty room that okay. can accommodate that they can accommodate them. Uh, core? Um. Go ahead, Selector. Um. If I may, sh you shouldn't we probably ask them where they hit the stolen stuff? Before we assume that. Let's ask if they are the ones who stole the items. They could have just snuck in here just to sneak in here. Yeah, it, it may be just coincidental that other items are missing. So he'll look at them and say, uh, it's understandable that you would have snuck food, but about the other missing items? Is this you, or is this something else that we need to worry about? You see the three siblings look towards the the hooded one, Quaffin, and you see him hold a bag of weighted jingly things before throwing them on the floor. The bag opens up, and Nefra, you see a couple of jewels that belong to your mother. And her journals that were stolen? Um, well, they were page entries that were ripped out. Yep, and he said, all those pages, I just stuffed them in another book. May I please have that book back? Oh, those pages still are really dear to me. Oh, they're still in the lab. You, they're still in the lab. You just um, need to open another book to find those pages. Well, I appreciate you reorganizing the pages, to much of my chagrin. Please don't steal random people's items in a home that you do not know of, just to try and get your brother's attention. Well, it's the only way we know. It's the only way we know how. We don't. We don't have as much magic as he do. This is the only way we could get his attention. I mean, well, you could have just knocked on the door and said, "Hi, we're Elise's siblings, and we'd like to see him the next time he comes into town." Or if our guard would have let you in, state claiming that you were his family. They could have just allowed you to stay over, and you could have baked him a cake by the time he got back. 
Yeah, but the mis mystery is more fun. Food? <laughs> Besides, this is our kind of revenge for, you know, him not ta not not talking for a while. That and him not caring about about us or his family. Uh, the latter half, you couldn't be more wrong, but I can understand. And who are you? He does talk to highly of you all. You guys, you guys have dealt with me the entirety of my life, and you still don't understand me. And to introduce myself, my name is Nephrite. I'm one of the members that Alicia has been traveling with. He's the rest of my companions, and he'll introduce everyone else that is here. Just because you're the you're bigger than us does not make you the big brother around here. I'm aware. However, with it being a very long day and late into the night, would you all like to stay the night and we could try to pick this up again in the morning over breakfast? All four look at each other before nodding. Four? Yeah. Would you happen so to know if we have any empty beds? Well, are, these, are, these, are these rooms open? Uh, let me zoom out so I can see which ones you're pinging. Uh, Aren't those I think, our rooms? I think this one is Nephrite's. This one I know is open. I know this, this one's Augman's. This one's Cortana's. Yeah, this I one remember. I think is open because Quinn normally sleeps outside. I don't remember. Open. Open. That's three. And open. Because you're wrong. This one wasn't open, but it just became open because not saying anything more. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are extra beds upstairs, too. That's what I was thinking, too. There's uh, all these beds up, up here. Eh, the good thing is Holnir has the uncanny ability to sleep anywhere. <laughs> well, I kind of see sleeping does. in the bathtub. <laughs> so... Um... Is Holnir up here? Yeah, he's up here. Okay. So. Uh, well, these will say, uh, these, uh, while the, while the others figure out what rooms that you will be able to stay in, I'll go explain to our custodians that we have for me. Yes. Cor's in here. Uh, the yes. Cor. Welcome yes. to. Welcome to. Welcome to our keep. And Cor pretty much has this look on his face that says, "I'm not getting paid enough for this job." <laughs> <laughs> not for um, boss work. You give him a raise. I could, just as an apology for, we did not expect for you to have more guests, and we apologize for bringing more guests, but I assure you, I can pay you more to cover for everything else. It's but for this now, is something I should expect from you a lot. Don't worry about the face. I'll talk to Ingrid about it. But for now, for the time being, as I stated before, it is late. We just had a long flight back over here. It is time to bed. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, um, quick question. Yeah? Um, since we slept seven hours earlier, the, no, we did didn't. that kick the... Didn't we? We took a nap. Yeah. So that was a short rest in most... And the party just napped for about two hours. Oh, we have yet, I was going to ask. We have yet to take a long rest. Um, by the way, uh, Elise will, Elise will uh, stand amongst his his siblings and say, Is there anything that you would like to tell our parents? We left a note. Oh, so the bonk on the head was from you guys. I'm about to call them. Is there anything that you would like to say? Oh no, the bonk on the head, that's from our dad. He's funny that way. And, and you don't need to tell him, we, we left the notes. Alright. So, uh... This, uh, this is, uh, somebody, uh, this is somebody's room already, so, uh, come and, come and get your, your beds for the night, which should be on the third floor. Okay, alright. Just tell whoever is sleeping here, sorry about the crumbs. And no, oh, and we'll, yeah, we'll quickly uh, clean up with prestigitation. I hope they didn't eat the sweets I was saving. Actually, um, <laughs> when you lift your covers, um, no, and slip under your bed, you could see like um, jars full of like cookies, cupcakes, um, basically. Um, oh. They basically hoard a lot of food under your bed. Ah, oh, crud. Oh. And just to clean that up and uh, pick up all the empty containers as well and try to find a wherever the garbage pail is in the room. Uh, there goes all the cookies I was saving. <laughs> yep, and that's right, you see your mom with the bag. Uh, of her stuff is going well this is not what I was expecting at all <laughs> I was prepared I was honestly prepared for any of the other three but I wasn't taking notes hmm. but at least we know that none of the items were technically out of keep but they still, they still were qualified as stolen Luckily, they were our league's family, so hopefully we shouldn't need to press any charges. And they were just trying to get their brother's attention. Oh, technically I should because of the book, uh, the book I follow, but... I think we can pull a special case in this, this regard. Thank you, Mom. Now, for Bix and Perry, do you two want to sleep on this floor, or do you want to try and see what beds are available on the third floor? Well, do you have any room on this floor, sweetie? Uh, I'm looking back over... We have four rooms available. I thought Alicia's siblings were going to stay down here, but they're all sleeping upstairs. Uh, clear correction, there's five, because I don't see anyone in five different rooms, so... Oh, yeah, sorry, one of them's your room. Doi, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my mind erred for that. <laughs> well, thank you kindly, but we'll take that off, Eric. And hopefully sometime tomorrow, I'd like to see see this new lab of yours. <sighs> I'll show you in the morning. All right, then. 
Good night, you too. Good night. Sleep tight. <laughs> Don't let the parasites bright. <laughs> you hear a hearty laugh from Peridot and a subtle laugh from um, Bix. <laughs> And where is Helen near sleeping? Oh wait, no, that's Barry. Oh, probably in this bed right here. Oh, red. Uh, yeah. I'm pinging it as well. So yeah, I got him. <laughs> After he grabs a late night snack, of course. <laughs> and as usual. Quinn sleeps outside because why? Because I, I wanted to, okay? So I sent a whisper to you, Kat. Uh, could you type in the answer? Yep, I will send, send you the names. Though you should see them on your, on, under your, um, your character on in the pages and people a, we know i have the entire list of all of my siblings so i'm not sure which one these are ah ah welcome yeah i'm pretty much the same but when i confuse argonite for peridot <laughs> Dream time, no guarantees, but. And I just clicked on long rest on my thing, so. Yay! Everything back to normal. Excuse me. Well, as normal as we get around here. Yep. <laughs> 